You're just a little insane, Biscuit. I didn't even get the full confirmation that I was live before you were in here waving. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Alright, we'll see how this goes tonight, because my computer is being really strange. My Discord keeps closing. My lights keep turning a different color on their own. <laughs> my camera didn't want to work. You are waiting. Evening. Evening, evening, evening. <clears throat> Shit. Thank you. I love that little dinosaur. Oh, excuse me. All right. I needed something extremely chill tonight. So tired. I was not feeling well yesterday, and I'm still kind of not feeling well, and so we're just we'll see how this goes tonight. It's not a sassy stream without technical difficulties. Yeah. Yeah. I've played this game once before on my own, so we won't be starting completely from the beginning, but I think we're only on, like, the third mission or something, so... Alright, put my ears on here. And I don't remember if this game has music or not, but I'm not sure if we're gonna keep the, the lo-fi going or not. How are you guys doing tonight? This week in life. comments about your allergies. That sucks, man. I'm sorry. That is rough, buddy. The bungalow and we have a playground. Oof. It says dinosaurs. A dinosaur. At least. Dirt Finder. I've got a frankly ridiculous situation on my hands. You see, some of the local children have been coming down with a curious and unsightly form of dermatitis, and a few fretful folk have been putting it down to the condition of the recreational facilities. It's all nonsense, of course, but if we could just humor them and give the whole thing a thorough ho hose down, I would be most grateful. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, no. And you're always driving by people's houses, because you're a male person. That's awful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> mm. Alright, I gotta remember how to do this. I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world if I just used the same stuff the whole time, but... Maybe it would. I don't know. Maybe the world will end. Okay, so that's... Nozzle sizes. These are my tools. Okay. I don't have to do the bench, which is nice. Oh! I need to move my camera, don't I? Yeah, I haven't played this in so long, I don't remember where the camera should go. Also, I've never played with the camera on, so... That, too! Alright, I'll go down here. I cut their lawns and then leave the grass clippings in the road for your vehicles are on the air. Oh god. Have you ever done like that allergy cleaning clearing thing?
thing. I, my, mom, my mom's getting it done. I don't. My mom believes anything she's doing is working, so <laughs> I don't know how far to trust her with it. This bench is red. <laughs> oh god, that's disgusting. How do I rotate? I definitely thought this was just a brown wood bench. I'm not very in control of this. Oh, you have a tool. Interesting. She has to, like, go somewhere to do it. <laughs> it very much looked brown. <laughs> I gotta remember how to do this. I'm out of practice. <laughs> I've never power washed in real life. I've watched people play this a lot before though, and it always looked really satisfying. And I played it one night, like a month or so ago, when I was just like, fuck this shit. Like, done with everything. <laughs> and it was really fun, I enjoyed it. So, when I'm having another day like that, like today, you know, it's just satisfying. I don't know, with their, with their dermatitis, obviously. And it's multiplayer too, so like, and it's not even like hard multiplayer from what I understand, like you could literally jump in right now I think, if you wanted to, and have the game. I don't know if you have the game, but it's pretty cool having that kind of ease with a game that's this like, chill. Hey! A ladder. Alright, where do we start here? There's another bench! <laughs> Something small. I like to get the stuff on the outskirts. Makes me feel better about myself. I'm kind of bummed. Found out today that my favorite restaurant in this town is closed permanently. <laughs> it's the only place to get good steaks and good cocktails. And it was a really cool environment, like we always got to sit next to the wood fireplace. Oh god. I was so upset. And I didn't know it was closing, so like we didn't get to do like a, a last hurrah there or anything. It's just gone. It's just gone forever. It only lives in my memories. I'm very sad. Everywhere here, it's really hard to get a liquor license for restaurants in Montana. So everywhere here, well, I guess that wouldn't be the reason why they do that. Maybe, I don't know, how does that work? Everywhere here just serves beer and wine. Like, nobody makes cocktails. But when you find a place that does it, you want to get in on that. 
and then they close it. You don't have the game, but it sounds like it'd be fun. It would. It is a fun show game to play. It kind of reminds me of Viscera Clean of Detail, but maybe like even less energy because you don't have to think about anything. You can just kind of do. Oh, that was my. So many bars to sell liquor and so many ABC stores. ABC stores. You might have to help me out on that one. What is that? Less murder as well. <laughs> oh, then VCD. I, you weren't saying that, that South Carolina had less murder. I was like, how do you know how much murder Montana had? Oh, yes, it is less murder than VCD, Viscera Clean of Detail. Although I do enjoy, like, murder stuff. I listen to a murder podcast every day on my way to work, but... Sometimes you don't want to see elves torn to shreds, you know? Or hear terrible elf jokes. <clears throat> Daniel. Sell liquor basically from A to Z. Huh. Never heard of that before. We just call them liquor stores here. <laughs> Really? What the heck? The inside? There we go. Okay. Another bench! Speaking of my murder podcast, Biscuit, I heard a story about one. It wasn't a murder. Um, it was just like a weird crime. And I immediately thought of you. Um, you should Google. Uh, shoot, I gotta tell you, I gotta make sure I tell you the right name because it was, it was gold. Um, I think I know what it was. Yes, you should Google. The Swiss cheese pervert. <laughs> oh man, that was a good story. That was brought in by um, it, it was someone wrote in about it because they read people's hometown murders, is what they're called, as well. Yo, and they they always say that like. <laughs> <laughs> well, it had to do with cheese, so of course it made me think of you. always miss that sight. <laughs> I'm lactose incompetent kid. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Did you- you must have found the video <laughs> of them talking about it. Isn't that hilarious?
All right, dinosaur. You have a lot of angles on you, and I'm a little worried about how well this is gonna go. Ugh, this is disgusting. If we had a- if our local playground was this dirty, I would- I'm not a clean freak, but I wouldn't let my kids play on this shit. This is gross. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So the host of that podcast insists that everybody has, like, a story of a murder or a weird crime like the Swiss cheese pervert that happened in their hometown or to their mother's best friend, sister, or something, you know, like, like connected to them somehow. And I don't have anything. I ain't got jack shit, and it makes me feel like less of a person because I don't know any cool crimes that happen near me. I don't have any cool crimes that happen near me. What? I don't have any cool crimes that happen near me. You know, like, everybody has, like, a hometown murder story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you just work on that, please? <laughs> Mikhail's gonna go make some for me. So, you incredibly loud individual. <laughs> you don't have any cool crimes either? Okay, I feel less, you know. Hi. So why why is no one responding to the uh, hotel dilemma or Airbnb dilemma for Las Vegas? The people who are here have responded. Have they? <laughs> Not it's um, Daniel and Biscuit have both given a bit of their two cents, but we can't do anything till we hear from everybody. I this is the first time I played this on stream. And I've only played it once before tonight, so it's not a huge thing that I've played, so it makes sense you wouldn't know that I've played it. <laughs> I'm just really tired tonight, and this sounded good. The cream cheese creamer. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think someone did go as the Swiss cheese pervert for Halloween or something one year. Swiss cheese pervert? Yes! <laughs> You should look it up. <laughs> I don't know if I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Is this guy who would flash people with his Swiss cheese? Like he would flash them and also have a Swiss cheese near the appendage he was flashing with? Cream cheese creamer. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> you can join if you want to. I don't know how to do it though. I, like I said, I'm new to this. I feel pretty good for remembering how to rotate my nozzle. Dinosaur is gonna be hard to get fully clean, I feel like. Uh. 
posture check. I'll show you a posture check. <sighs> Thank you. Rotated cheese around his nozzle. <laughs> I don't really want to think about how he used the Swiss cheese. <laughs> it's enough for me just to know that he had it, you know? Some mysteries are best left just as mysteries. Oh, yeah. Alright, that's fine. You overachiever, you working out and shit. Ain't nobody got energy for that. Okay, I will try to alert you next time I'm getting gonna play it. And sometime we need to play Viscera Cleanup Detail together. You may also pick it up. Excellent. Join my cult of cleanliness. My power washing posse. Let's see how many more alliterations can we do here? <laughs> of course, I cleaned the dinosaur first. I picked this one because it had a dinosaur on it. <laughs> what kind of monster do you think I am? Yes, this would be awesome. Oh, you actually go down the slide. Well, shit. Shit. No, I don't have time. <laughs> If somebody weren't working out tonight, we could play this right tonight, but no, someone's gotta be all ambitious and shit. Mikhail says I'm not being very supportive for blasting you for working out. I could just blast you for being stupid, but <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'd mix it up a bit. <laughs> Of <laughs> Biscuit liked that one. <laughs> um, I don't know, probably. What time is it? I don't know how many clocks here. <laughs> what am I looking for? Um, I don't know, probably oh. another two hours or something. You worked out once? That sounds awful and traumatizing. Working out is off free. Suppose we shouldn't say that too loud around Tony, though. All right, Opal, sounds good. Yeah, Mikhail has to kind of do that kind of schedule too if he wants to work out. He's a bus driver for schools, you know? The early start to the day. I think yours is earlier, but <laughs> yeah, it sucks. I How can't. Early is going? What? How early is going? Uh. He works at 5 a.m., so he's talking about how if he wants to work out before work, he has to do that before 5 a.m. And Mikhail says he feels the pain. Work out with Swiss cheese, but refrain from the flashing. Yes, all those are good points. You, you didn't know that? Yes. Yes, yes. 
a good uh, schedule that allows them to be home during the day to watch our fussy generator and solar panels and also do some homework and stuff. You do both drive for a living. My dad's also a bus driver. My mom subs. I'm just surrounded by people who drive. Clean the dino pie. Well, then you had to go and make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> I can't actually get under it. That's annoying. <laughs> this is really, really annoying. <laughs> Crawling around on the dirt over here. It's fine. It's fine. I'm definitely not going to get the dermatitis that's causing all the children problems. <laughs> Open more protective gear. <sighs> well, thank you for the ten bits. <laughs> I completely understand. <laughs> Axes are a bitch. Oh, and you would get it too, especially as a, uh, a 10 in 1099. You just had to do him one better. <laughs> well, thank you for that as well. <laughs> it's not a competition. Oh, hello. <gasps> Yay, the stego slide is clean. Be free. Run. Okay. <sighs> I kind of want to save the... The pretty floor for last. It's kinda, kinda nice. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Thank you for your 11. <laughs> well, you know, Opal's not here, so I gotta offend somebody. Oh, Opal's lurking.
Oof, this is awkward. It's really awkward. <laughs> Can't see anything. Maybe if I lay down. That's better. Okay. Kind of. It's gonna be hard to reach the outside of. Why the slide platform isn't giving it to me? This is disgusting. Yeah, seriously, it's not hard to see why they were getting dermatitis. <laughs> also, again, I would not be bringing my child to a place this disgusting. <laughs> I mean, they're not even going to recognize this place when I'm done with it. All the kids are going to cry when they get here, because they're going to be like, where'd the park go? I'm not sure I like what you're implying. <laughs> Yo. I better be wearing full hazmat gear, man. to clean the underside of this thing and everything.
<laughs> Most definitely a hazmat situation. That's disgusting. Like, you hear those stories about... Like, the stuff you find in ball pits and stuff, you know? Bad news bears. have kids though you just kind of expect dirty things right it's like a, a parent thing right this thing to do this is like it's completely unnecessary but we just have to make them feel better what bullshit I guess sometime next month, I am going to be in a, uh, in a paintball match, <laughs> uh, for my company, for going against a local, um, tire shop. I'm excited, but I'm also going to be completely useless. Because <laughs> I've only paint both ones. <laughs> You've never paintball? Pretty fun. The one time I did it, Mikhail and I were leaders at a like a youth camp thing. And they had paintballing. Mikhail and I were on a team, I think, with one other person. I can't remember. I just stayed hidden in the woods the whole time. <laughs> I don't know if that's a viable strategy or not, but that's what I did. I was a distraction. That's really what it was. I totally knew what I was doing. Distracting. You've been shot in the head with BBs? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, 
you know, uh, head trauma is a, a common uh, factor in the history of, of serial killers and psychopaths. So, uh, good to know. Thank you for your honesty about your condition. <laughs> How did you get shot in the head with, head with BBs? Is it like a brother thing? That sounds like a brother thing. Like if Mikhail told me that he'd been shot in the head with BBs, I would instantly know, oh, Aaron did the shooting. Maybe you should get started. Yeah, you've got a, a lot of um, time to make up in your career here. Uh, what was the trifecta? It was... Um, oh, I can't remember. I think it was... Bedwetting, animal cruelty, and head injuries, I think, are the trifecta. Um, like if you have two of the three or whatever, there's a higher percentage that you're fucked up or whatever. I can't remember. Not something I ever thought I'd pull out and use, so. Didn't pay attention. Stupid teenagers? Oh my god, seriously? Sorry. That's not as fun as a brother doing it because it just a, it's not as good of a story, right? Is it like while you were on while you were doing like your mail route? Uh, more of these things. Shit. been a federal offense. Oh, you're right, that would have been. I didn't even think of that. Damn. You were a kid at the time. It's even worse. Stupid teenagers. Who needs them? Teenagers. You shot somebody once. <laughs> Just once. What? <laughs> What's that story? <laughs> oh, that's not in the wood. I want to know the story. What happened? Jesus. Steel BB pellet. Still in their leg. Oh my god. Ooh. 
I... I didn't know that BDs could break the skin like that, I guess. Damn. house and we were target shooting with pellet guns and we wanted to see what happened. <laughs> if we pumped up a pellet gun on it, <laughs> This sounds like such a guy thing. <laughs> to wonder. And when I went to fire, hit the ground and ricocheted off a rock and back into your friends, like, holy shit. The ricochet? <coughs> Stuck it in the leg? Damn. Some force behind that. Oh, that's gonna be hell to clean. He looked down and had a stream of blood going down his leg, so I helped him into the house where he passed out on the floor. <laughs> Tell me you didn't just leave him passed out on the floor. <laughs> you, we guys ask the question, no one wants to know the answers to. Yep. Yep, I would say that's valid. <laughs> of course. Okay, let's well, You passed out next to him? <laughs> oh, God. I'm just picturing, like, the parents coming into the room and finding their kid you know, bleeding, passed out on the floor, and then if you were actually passed out next to him too, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> the initial bit of panic. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but that's that would be a pretty good prank. The mayor's cat, Ulysses, is just missing. The whole town's no lookout for him until the time for the festival. He won't have spring until he's put his hat on. His parents freaked out. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> to be honest, if I had to wear that hat, I'd go missing. <laughs> Not get that spot. <laughs> now Daniel knows not to fire down range when someone is there. <laughs> he was behind. <laughs> well, yeah, the ricochet would be enough. And <laughs> BB had it out for him. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like he was just born under a very unlucky star. <laughs>
Everywhere is down right. <laughs> I'm not sure this job is paying enough for the dermatitis I'm surely contracting. Actually, my pay amount went down. It was up to like 780 or something. Why did I go down? <laughs> actually know what I'm supposed to spend money on in this game, not to think of it. I don't think we have anything like cool cosmetics. Gets really hurt that much when I was younger, though. When I was 19, I had my head on a fireplace after falling off a hoverboard. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that can be pretty bad, actually. They did. Head wounds bleed really bad. I imagine you freaked him out a lot. Staples. Ooh. That sounds really painful. Can you believe that, that when humans are hurt, we just, like, staple ourselves back up? Or, like, like sew ourselves back up? Glue? Like, what the fuck? That's still the best way for us to to 
put our skin back together. It just blows my mind. My Discord is being buggy as shit. Yeah. Also, I had a graphics card update, I think, that just will not install. So there's some weird shit going on tonight. Well, congratulations, Biscuit. I'm glad it works for you. Feel free to rub it in everyone's face. Faces. It's just crazy. It seems like it, like such a, a barbaric thing, you know? That's weird. I mean, do you, do you have any updates? There's been like a lot of computer breaking ones recently. <laughs> we were talking about power washing. <laughs> Face eye. <laughs> Yes, my G my GeForce driver update will not go through, and every time it tries to go through, it breaks my Discord. So there's something wrong with those for sure. The worst I ever got hurt when I was a kid. Um. I had to go home every day from school with this high schooler who was babysitting me. So I'd ride the, her bus home. It was the same bus, but like I was riding with her. And um, I went to go get into the seat, and it was one of the ones at the wheel well. My clumsy ass tripped on it because I didn't see it. And I hit my, my eye, my eyebrow against the, the wall of the bus. And they... I remember laying on my back, and all these high schoolers were looking <laughs> down at me, and one of them was like, I think I can see the bone. The bus driver just drops me off at my house. <laughs> like, I, I just sat there and waited for my mom to get home. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is a different age, man. <laughs> this game is so sad. Oh, your driver update went through? I'll have to try mine again after this. Yeah, yeah, the park was like... It's disgusting. But the fence and, and everything around is like... Perfect. Fractured your elbow and chipped off a piece of the bone? Jesus. Ah. <sighs> Do they have to like go in and dig the bone piece out? Is it still in there? She ain't bleeding out, she'll be fine. I know, I'm just like, how the fuck did that happen? <laughs> and we lived way out in the boonies, so it was like another probably 30, 35 minute drive to even get to a hospital or anything. It was so, so bad. They left the bomb piece in? Ooh. Does it like just float around or something in you? That sounds horrible. And I am I gonna have to get the ladder like up here somehow to get some of this shit? Whoops. Oh, it broke back down into calcium and was absorbed. Oh, okay. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better about it. <laughs> Rub some dirt in it. 
I'm almost surprised my parents didn't tell me that, because they were army. <laughs> and very much acted like that with everything else, but... You know, head injuries, they bleed a lot. My method of cleaning this is so freaking haphazard. I'm gonna have to go back and find so many things. <laughs> it's fine. At least the dinosaurs clean. Cheese does have calcium. Very good biscuit. And if you're thinking about the Swiss cheese that a certain pervert used, it might even have some protein. We both have head trauma! <laughs> Yay! One day they'll tell us our story and relate that, that the accidents, the head trauma accidents that we've had in our past, and everybody in the audience will be like, Oh, I know where this is going. <laughs> Jabad, you missed our discussion about the uh, the Swiss cheese pervert. Uh, I highly recommend looking it up. It's it's very amusing. in the title. <laughs> Watch me get a bunch of people who actually know what I'm talking about, and we just talk about the Swiss cheese pervert all night. <laughs> With protein in it. <laughs> my, my stream has no title after the Swiss cheese pervert. <laughs> my stream has no title after the Swiss cheese pervert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> This is not a very good cleaning job. Oh, 
But, um, I forgot to ask this while you were still on last time. Have you, um, have you seen Whose Line Is It Anyway? I knew you would. I knew you would. They're actually coming and doing a live, like a couple live shows in Montana, and I bought tickets. Um, it's in two months. I'm so excited to see them live. It's not like the usual crew. Um, Ryan Styles is there, and then Greg Proops, and that Jeff guy, and then one guy I don't even know. But it's who's line. I'm so excited. I grew up on that show, man. Which direction am I going? Oh, hey, I'm back in the slide. Okay. Excellent job. Yay, me. I know! I had no idea they ever did, like, tours or anything. It popped up on my Facebook and I was- I was not letting that go without buying tickets. <laughs> we have to drive an hour and a half or so to get there, but that's not bad. Yes, exactly! <laughs> you have to take it. <laughs> I wish that, that, uh... I wish Wayne Brady was gonna be there. That man can do literally anything, but I'm still very excited. like a Frankenstein cleaning job. <laughs> Just little bits of it here and there are clean. What's your favorite um, type of sketch that they do? I always really liked, which they don't do it very often, but I always really liked props and helping hands. I didn't know you'd seen it too. I thought I brought this up and nobody had seen it. <laughs> Ooh, a video. Seventeen of the best scenes. I might have just watched this. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I think I did just watch this. Yeah, scenes from a hat. I <laughs> yes. <laughs> Back when Drew Carey was doing it. Settle the way kids do. All right, Jenkins. So you're not going to accept my proposal for the merger? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Vince Long. Scenes from a hat. Really? See, now we get to be in the audience, so we actually have to come up with things to put in a hat. Cast and I have no idea what it is. I'll take uh, people who sit behind a desk and do nothing for 500. <laughs> Unfortunate <laughs> wedding night confessions. <laughs> or just, <laughs> just use your own if you have to. <laughs> um, I'm Drew Carey. <laughs> Bad parental motivational speeches. <laughs> a teacher, a teacher. Honey, prostitutes make twice that money. <laughs> what the Who's Line cast will ask Santa for this Christmas? Please, Santa, just a pair of sunglasses. That guy the, in the red shirt is going to be there. I can't believe I'm missing bald jokes. <laughs> the good news and the bad news. The good news is the surgery was successful and now you look like a movie star. The bad news is that movie star is Drew Carey. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Tommy! <laughs> look, it's Geppetto on DVD. Ooh. Oh, and that guy, the, the other... People you wouldn't Guys, want to meet Brady. at a nudist colony. Oh, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Seuss inspired pickup lines. <laughs> Come home with me. I'm not scary. I'm really rich. I'm Drew Carey. Could you do it with a friend? Could you do it end to end? Would you do it on the goat? Would you do it with my coat? Would you do it in a tree? Would you do it while I see? He 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 he. U.S. cities that will never have a song written about them. We call it Butte, not Butt, Montana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's really going through George W. Bush's mind during cabinet meetings? <laughs> there isn't even a cabinet in here. <laughs> Poems about embarrassing moments. It was my first time. I felt such elation. Oh no, premature ejaculation. Uh, this is another one. Pull the string on the Drew Carey doll and it says... <laughs> yes, exactly. We were watching these with dinner lately. Whatever you want. The new there episodes. You it's oh. fantastic. Mimi and I are the same person. <laughs> Do you guys remember the Drew Carey show? <laughs> If celebrities had been the first people to walk on the moon. Well, this is dry and barren as I am. <laughs> what Drew whispers in his date's ear. <laughs> Keep the change. <laughs> it's things you can say to your dog, but not your girlfriend. <laughs> Come. Refreshingly honest statements that could earn you a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> Drew doesn't do a damn thing. <laughs> Read all the cards. <laughs> uh, 
if lessons in love and sex were taught in the style of Sesame Street? <laughs> Abierto. I don't know what that is. My uneducated teeth and self. Cerrado. The letter H. <laughs> <laughs> Titles for Colin Mockery's autobiography. <laughs> you don't need hair to satisfy every woman you've met. That's some good shit. Oh, we need to turn the music on. So if you guys think of any good um, scenes from a hat that I could put in the hat, I am all ears because my I'm just not thinking of anything at all. Like, that improvisation skill is just insane! Do that in like math or something. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's just something you practice at a lot, right? You've done improv. Definitely not improvisational. I did skits and the like, and did a little bit of on the fly stuff, but nothing as amazing as that. I mean, yeah, that's like really throwing yourself out there, like, go jump in the ocean and hope you know, learn how to swim really fast. Yeah, I've done acting, um, I've screwed up acting before live, which resulted in some improvisation, but I've never done just legit improv. I, well, I mean, I guess we had to do... Yeah, that's a good point, Vod. That's a really good point. I mean, it's something to be careful of all the time anyway. I know I've hurt people before, but I didn't mean to. I feel terrible when it happens. Oh, 
Come on, give me the ding for the cover. There was a helicopter, yeah, you guys could hear it? Yeah, we just, um... Like... What is it we have around here, babe? It's like, like, Air Force practice flights or whatever? Did you see the helicopter that was overhead? Oh. We have some sort of like military stuff that flies around here. What what branch? Got the Air National Guard that's like Air National Guard. Got the fort. Oh, that's and the Forest fort. Service. That's yep. I forgot about that. They're just somewhere around. <laughs> <laughs> they're always overhead, is where they're at. The Forest Service lives in the sky. <laughs> they fly over, so like, oh there's those weird things again. <laughs> Uh, we have Chinooks that fly around here, but I can't personally attest if that one was a Chinook. Or other slightly more creepy re Just slightly more creepy? That no, way more creepy reasons. You could tell from the sound? That's crazy. I couldn't tell from the sound, it was just a fucking helicopter. That was the superpower the biscuit gained when he had his head injury. Oh, those are really cool out there. Oh, Vod, you should um, you should go to Seafair since you're li living out there now. Seafair is amazing. Um, it should be in August. It's fantastic. You have an air show with a boat show, and like it's it's really cool. Not like a boat boat show, like hydroplane racing. It's hydroplane racing. Chinooks make more of a thud from the rotors spinning. Yeah, it's just a really great, like, festival thing. Bring lots of water. <laughs> and something to sit in. <laughs> Big cargo looking jet. Like a C-130? The misty rain. Oh, that's so cool. It's like that scene. Not really like that scene, but it reminds- like, your description of it reminds me of that scene from the new, um, Star Trek series. Not the series, but the movie series with Chris Pine. In the first one, when- when the Enterprise rises out of the, um, cloud around... Saturn? One of the other planets. <laughs> and the music plays, and it's just this fantastic cinematic experience. I love that. There it is. 
Yes, you know what scene I'm talking about. It's the best, isn't it? The, uh, the guy that did the music for that movie, Michael... I never know how to say his last name. It looks like Giacchino to me. He is... What is it? Giacchino. Giacchino? Thank you. He's amazing. Does awesome work. Yes, you know the scene too. It's just the best. That first movie in the series had some really great moments that just made you want to stand up and cheer. Now I want to watch it again. <laughs> great. Great. I don't have time to watch that movie tonight. What the fuck? Michael Cappuccino. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sure. Yay. I'm Max 3D. That would be sick. <laughs> yes, we definitely... well... We've definitely watched them multiple times, yeah. But I think the second and third only maybe like two or three, as opposed to the first one, which is like... A lot more. I don't need sleep or anything, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've only been exhausted all day and groggy and stuff. It's fine. It's fine. Sleep is for the week. Oh, I can see those being problematic for washing. Okay. <laughs> no. I didn't get the rest of that in there. I didn't mean to really wander this far out. It just kind of happened. I know, I really want to watch it now, too. <laughs> we, we ruined our whole evenings with that whole, uh, trip. <sighs> Good job.
What are your go-tos when you feel like that? I only ask because that's what Mikhail always wants to watch, and we're always looking for good ones. Slide. But Ant, part of their life is. Ants literally enslave. And then those, if they have enough of those enslaved ants, those enslaved ants kill the pupa of the enslaved ant, or in the, in the enslavers, and decimate the colony and just repeat the process. <laughs> That's pretty metal. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Stargate SG-1. Huh. I don't think I've seen it. <sighs> oh my god! Hello, Geek Girl Games! And everybody with her. Hello! Wow! Thank you for the raid! Damn. How are you guys? How was your evening? I assume you were playing uh, games of some kind. <laughs> uh, welcome in, everybody. We're having kind of a chill night tonight. Um, Here's the thing about Moon Bunny. Here's a. Thank you for getting. Here's the thing a about Moon out. Bunny. She's not rough. She's not a diamond in the rough. She's like a diamond in the. Tropical beach sand. <laughs> there you go. Oh gosh, you were. No that's a clip of you playing. That. <laughs> that's amazing. This is my. It's actually my first time streaming it. I played it once before, but I, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just um here. <laughs> I'm sure there's things I could be doing more efficiently here, but uh, this is this is what I do. I uh, I got the dinosaur all clean, which I'm proud of. That was hard. Quit talking about your friend. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Isn't it funny how sometimes you just have the most random clips, and you're like, "Why is that in my listing? <laughs> what is that even about?" <laughs> Holy fuck! Um, oh my god. <laughs> Thank you! Holy shit! Thank you! Live to see tomorrow! Oh my gosh! I'm really warm now. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Damn! That's insane! Quite the entrance. You know, you can raid me anytime. <laughs> We're gonna get a lot of the dancing dinosaur, the dance, uh, jumping dinosaur. God. It's gonna be great. I hope you guys like that, uh, animation, because it's gonna be going for a while. <laughs> wow. That just... jeez. I'm gonna be feeling the rever rever reverberations of that one for a while. Thank you. <laughs> hello, hello! We're getting all kinds of dings, this is great. Yay! We are making money! What do you even spend the money on in this game? I don't actually know. I don't think I'm charging enough for my services, though. Man, we've been talking about a lot of um, 
Well, we were talking about Star Trek. The ding is the best. <laughs> and then we just started talking about other sci-fi shows that we watch when we're feeling like sci-fi shows. So, if you have any suggestions, I'd be happy to hear them. Is your notification ringtone on your phone? That's amazing. How satisfying is that? I haven't set custom notification sounds on my phone in... I must have been... Back in the dark ages. I like high school. <laughs> but I had time to do that. <laughs> That's a good idea. That would make me really happy to look at my phone all the time. Buy new power washers and glove. Oh, you can buy cosmetics with colors. Oh, can I see what I look like? Um, there must be a way to do this. And cool designs for the power washer as well. Oh my god, thank you for subbing! Jeez! Live to see tomorrow. I do like your name. That's really cool. Why? There must be a way to see myself, right? Shop. <gasps> Clothing! <gasps> Green! Ooh! Bye! Bye! <laughs> Yours says bruh! <laughs> That's hilarious! I once had my dad record a sound for when he would call me, it would play, and I was in a changing room at, like, a Walmart or something once. And, you know, I'm trying on pants, so my jeans are on the floor, my phone is in my, in my jeans, on the floor, and my dad, his ringtone starts playing because he's calling me because he doesn't know where I'm at. And it's, it's, pick up the phone, Michelle, pick up the phone, come on, pick up the phone, Michelle, which is really loud. It's a little embarrassing. <laughs> I think that might have been the last time I did a custom ringtone. <laughs> Is there a way to... So I own it now. Oh, man. I have cleaning liquids? <laughs> I didn't even know. I've just been spraying things. Uh... See, I didn't pay any attention, obviously. Uh... Extensions. Oh, kind of cool. I might need some of those for this instead of a ladder. It feels like the ladder is annoying, right? Uh, no, not options. Um, hmm. Oh, I see. You were talking about this one up here, and I went over here. I see. You've played it for 112.4 hours. So, I haven't seen this a lot, so I'm just asking, is it really, like, that replayable? Like, you don't get sick of the same maps, or do they just have endless maps or something? Because <laughs> that's insane! Ah! Shoot. Oh! Oh, I found a place to change my clothing! Yeah. Oh. I see. Cleaning liquid. Wow, okay, there's a lot more to this than I thought. Farscape. I've never heard of Farscape. Uh. Which is kind of crazy. Lots of maps, and pay attention to the texts that you get while cleaning. Okay, so the only texts I've gotten while cleaning this time were about the mayor's cat who went missing, and everybody's trying to find him before the spring festival so he can wear the hat. <laughs> and now I, will, I, I know I got a lot more text during the last job that I did, so and I didn't pay attention, so I will definitely make sure to pay attention. <laughs> I'm missing vital lore! Ah. Meh. 
they all connect. Really? Not what I expected from this game. At all. That's insane. There we go. I will have to pay more attention. Fair way. The power wash lore is strong with this one. <laughs> Where do I even see my phone? Can I see my phone? I can see my tablet. Oh, hey! Tic tac toe. This park is so gross. Just nasty. When we, when we first started cleaning the benches, I was shocked when they turned out to actually be colors. I thought they were just brown wooden benches. on that screen where you can see the clean percentage. Oh. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, uh. Oh, hey! This is the guy that we're working for right now. Is there is no an alleged an alleged dirt problem? <laughs> this guy's full of shit. <laughs> is this the ex the extraordinary Doctor Power Wash? <laughs> I got your details from your friend Harper. Could they do with a hand at my place when you're free? Funnily enough, my first girlfriend, Florian Perez, used to live here back in the day. These were good times. Florian, Florian and I would climb up and down that rock garden all day, pretending we were on rumbling Mount Rushless, and the pond was the crater. I have no idea how we explain the fish being there, though. Looks like you're almost done. Doc, the yard looks fantastic. There are a couple of bunny mountaineers already clambering over that rock garden, and I intend to join them. <laughs> I've got a job for you over at my folks' bungalow when you can fit it in. Bungalow. Who uses the word bungalow in like regular conversation? What's up? Do you do bikes? I could do with someone running their thing over my deadbeat dirt bike. <laughs> Have a good sleep! Thank you so much for stopping in. I I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I'll get I'll drop you a follow when I'm done with the, the stream. I'm not so good at multitasking, but I will I will do it when I'm done. <laughs> There's a removals van outside my nightmare neighbor's place. They're finally going. Whoever moves in there is gonna need a quality pressure washer. Oh, and that's the one that we just talked to with the mountaineer thing. You're gonna go with that business name, or do you need me to think something up? I'm phenomenal. I thought up grouting Thomas for that Tyler, and she never looked back. On reflection, Bonnie Tyler might have been a better fit. Van looks fantastic. Uh, just met my new neighbor over the fence, grumbling about his dirty backyard. Told him to give you a shout. Doc bumped into the par park warden. He definitely needs your help. S saw my dream RV at the auctions, all creamy like a toffee pie on wheels. I wouldn't know whether to drive it or lick it. Unfortunately, it sold for a crazy amount, but the dream leaves lives on. And then there's the mayor's cat, Ulysses, missing. Who calls a cat Ulysses? You, there's no nickname. There's no cute little thing. I mean, what do, you, do you actually go like, Here, Ulysses, come here. Come here. No. No, you don't. I bet that, I bet that they call it, like, Sissy or something. I bet that's its nickname. All right. Back to work.
Octothorpe. The pound sign is an it's actually Octothorpe. I I did not know that. I guess it makes sense. But also, Pound is easier to say. How did you get the name Pound, actually? Most unfortunate dog name and Karen ever Karen on a dog. Poopsie. That's just cruel. That's... that's just cruel. Vod, what are your favorite go-to sci-fi shows when you're in the mood for a sci-fi thing? Biscuit came up with one I never heard of called Farscapes. He has yet to tell me what it's about, though, and why I should watch it. <laughs> you already called something cool your Vaginoi. The line across pound, which is no, I've never heard of it. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> no, I really need sleep. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> All right, what is it? Why do I need to watch it? Is it a show? Is it a movie? How long is it? I need details. <laughs> Garsh and blush. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a lost cause until I get my ladder up. Which I don't want to do because it's annoying. Amazing sci-fi. Deep, well-written, great characters, good story arcs, incredible fun. Huh. Four seasons of amazing. Does it end, like... Does it end well, or is it like, uh, Firefly, where you're like, Shit, why is this over? Eighty-eight episodes over four seasons, okay. Yeah, I guess Bow! Hello! Welcome back, Opaluso. Did you enjoy your torture session? Ben Bowder, Claudia Black. I, you say those names like they should mean something to me. the ending because it was an ending. Oh, well, as long as it was an ending. You know, the problem with Firefly is that it didn't. And then they had the movie, which just felt really rushed, and then you were just, like, devastated at the end of it. You almost couldn't get out of the shower. Why? Why would you do that to yourself? Willingly. <laughs> no, I understand why. It's good for you. Good job. Way to be healthy. Made me feel guilty for not. I've heard of Stargate SG1. I can't remember if I've seen it. Seen was that the one? So I've seen a movie that I think was a Stargate movie with um the guy that played the voice of uh. I can remember things. <laughs> Ultron, the guy that played the voice- James Spader. <laughs> I saw something with James Spader. <laughs> Is that the one with James Spader, or am I thinking of something else? 
Is it, you're thinking of a series, though, and I'm talking about a movie, so I don't know. Probably not too much longer, Opal. It's probably not gonna be worth it for you to join in. I'm getting... tired. I was already tired. I'm getting more tired. There are ten seasons. <laughs> no. I'm already in the middle of, like, five shows. <laughs> no! What free time? You think I have free time? Okay, good. I'm glad you're okay with it. The movie Stargate had James Spader in it and inspired the series, which went for 10 seasons across multiple networks and spawned three spin off threads. Okay, so I'm on the right track. I've seen the movie. It was okay. <laughs> the new season of Barry just started. I've never heard of that either. Stargate Atlantis. Is that, an, is that an actual thing? Because that sounds cool. Wins the lottery, gets kidnapped, and spends a decade doing nothing but being forced to catch up on good shows. <laughs> I mean, if you're offering... Uh, sure. <laughs> Howdy, Dirtfinder. Put everything on hold in my golf buggy soil like you wouldn't believe. Okay, sir. You're not more important just because you're Mayor Jeff Jefferson the whatever -eth. Doc, gave your details to a colleague who needs to handle a new place in the suburbs. It's the old Diaz place, so I hope you don't get spooked easily. Ooh! Cool! A haunted house! I am totally down for that. I'd rather do that than a golf buggy for someone who thinks he's important. Bill Hader stars and directs it. Oh. I've never heard of that. Well, yeah, it's on HBO, so that's probably why. And there's not a single one I can pick because there's so much in the way of awesome sci-fi. See, that's... Okay, that's the stuff we need to know because we're like, uh... It always feels like we go to look for good sci-fi, and we just can't really find a lot. Mostly, okay, there's a lot of good sci-fi series, I guess. It's movies that we have issues finding good ones for. Stargate Universe. Huh. Oh, I never watched Breaking Bad, either. Yes. I agree on your assessment of Ready Player One. The, uh... It's mostly that the actor, the main guy, just bothers me in everything he's in. If that one hadn't been such a cornucopia of nerdism, I probably wouldn't have bothered because I don't like him. He always looks mostly clueless, but like he expects to be... I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just don't like him. But the idea of Ready Player One is pretty interesting. I wonder how the book is. Has anyone read the book? Oh, we're getting the movie list out. Nice. Breaking Bad is so good, and the prequel drama was arguably better. If you like crime drama, it's one of the best. Really? Like, okay, crime drama, okay. I like, like, courtroom dramas. I haven't seen a lot of them, but I know I like them. Crime dramas, I'm not, like, like you're talking about the committing of crime dramas as opposed to, like, the solving of crime dramas. Because I like the solving of crime dramas. I don't know if I would like the committing ones. Better than the movie. Oh, okay. 
during like the big battle scene and everything, I just want to pause the movie and just look for people I recognize, <laughs> which I don't recognize a lot of them because I it's all it's a lot of 80s references, you know. Top ones did not get cleaned fully. That one's good. That one's good. This one's being stubborn. Yes. Okay. Tic tac toe dice are clean. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. We've been getting a lot of dings though, so that feels good. Positive reinforcement and all that. <clears throat> Breaking Bad follows a lot of committing crimes, but there are also characters trying to stop the crimes that are basically right under their noses, which is where all the best tension is. So, okay. The only show I've seen that sounds similar to that is like, um, Dexter, which I just could not get behind, which is crazy because I love serial killers, but I just could not get into that. <laughs> Have you, s I mean, is it kind of like that? Where you're talking about the under the nose thing? Oh, this isn't what I thought it was. Okay, this goes down. Fifth element, I've seen that. Gattaca. I haven't seen that. Let me write this down. This feels important. Oh, hey, look, a notepad. Right here, right by my computer. Great. All right. Gattaca. Contact. Not first contact, but contact. I'm not sure I've seen just contact. Dark City. Never heard of that. Akira? Okay, I've been slowly working my way through the Alien series. And the Predator series. Uh, I think we made it through Aliens. I haven't seen AVP. They're monster movies. I love them. Um, Imposter with Gary Sinise. Oh, I like him. Galaxy Quest. Oh, I think I watched Galaxy Quest when I was a kid. I remember it being, like, really silly. The core. I feel like I remember the core, too. Is that the one with the drilling team? Total Recall. Either. I remember the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Is there a new one? Equilibrium. Equilibrium. Christian Bale, but not bad. <laughs> you must not like Christian Bale. <laughs> Back to the Future. Those are pretty good. This whole thing about like being so triggered by being called a coward is really frustrating. I like, but they're pretty good. I mean, I watched those for Christopher Lloyd. Starship Troopers. Never seen that. The Martian, that's always on our list. Time Machine is good too, but oh, so heartbreaking at the freaking beginning. Hate watching that. Better Call Saul is the prequel and follows the guy who is a scumbag lawyer who helps the main character in Breaking Bad and how he goes from an honest public defender to the criminal lawyer who becomes. Hmm. Better Call Saul, you'd probably love even more since that's a lot of lawyer courtroom stuff and the characters are so good. I do really like the, the courtroom stuff. Hi, Shaggy! Terminators, yes. Two is the best, isn't it? Like, that creepy... liquid metal guy. The actor that plays him, just top-notch. 
So good. I don't know about best sequel ever, though. Have you seen Shrek? And the second Shrek. <laughs> Shaky's here to say hello to everybody. Can you turn around so I can pick you up and show you to the camera? Oh, thank you, Biscuit. Have a good night, man. Thanks for hanging out. Sleep well. Shaky says good night. Good night. Want me out into the mic for Biscuit? Robert Patrick, thank you. Yes, that's his name. We watched a video the other day about... I think it was a, a video about Tom Cruise, actually. And his run, how it's so distinctive and like actually really, really like fast and impressive. And they were talking about how I think Robert Patrick is one of the only other people who has managed to pull off a run like that in the movies. Which is crazy. It's really cool. He got so efficient at his running. They actually had to tell. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear that. He got so efficient at his running that he actually they actually had to tell him to slow down. <laughs> Is that Tom Cruise or Robert Patrick? Robert Patrick. Robert Patrick. Damn, that's impressive. Just and then like having no facial expression while you're doing it. That's just that guy deserves way more credit than he gets. You watch that too? <laughs> I swear, you and Mikhail share a brain cell. He's crazy fast. I love that we're all in the same world of YouTube videos. <laughs> oh no, there's more. Dependence Day, the follow-up was dumb cheese, but fun. The first one was definitely better. Dune, there's a series of Dune? I didn't realize that. I liked the movie though. Rogue One is really good. That's Probably my favorite Star Wars movie. Buckaroo Banzai? The Andromeda Strain. I feel like I've heard of the Andromeda Strain. Was that a Michael Crichton book? Ghost in the Shell, anime, not the movie. I didn't know there was an anime. The movie sucked. Uh, the Prestige, yes! The Prestige is amazing! And The Illusionist, both of those. The Abyss. No, we haven't seen The Abyss, but we've seen stuff about The Abyss, because it was in that series about... Uh, I've seen The Abyss. Oh, you've seen The Abyss? Yeah. Oh. All the actors had to learn how to scuba dive for that, I think. Predator, Ghostbusters... I did not like Ghostbusters. I'm just... I'm not a Ghostbusters fan. I haven't seen the new one. I might like that one, but I did not like the old one. Battle for Los Angeles was very interesting. Terminator Inception is always amazing. Yes. The Blob, I haven't seen that. I need to watch The Blob and, um... The one... Maybe it's The Blob I'm thinking of. No, I don't think so. The one set in the, um... Like, the Arctic, and they find something frozen, and it's like a shape changer or something. The Thing. The Thing. I need to watch that, too. Um... Jurassic Park. I don't know that I've heard of that. Um... Sounds really lame. <laughs> 13 Monkeys? I've never heard of that. Oh, the thing, there it is, you just said it. <laughs> Blade Runner. That was another one I couldn't really get into, but I agree the first one was better than the second one. Tom Cruise is also told to slow down, and he mastered his breathing. Yeah. He's, a, he's a little bit crazy with his, his stunts and stuff. Oh, the helicopter stunt where they fly under a freeway overpass. It's actually been a while since I've seen it. But that does tickle some some area of my memory banks. The Twilight movie came out like ten years bef before T two, and had this awful accident where Hel Heli stunt went wrong and killed Vic Morrow and two child actors. What? I did not know that. And there's there's no way Twilight came out before T two. You're talking about the vampires. There's no way. Nobody's willing to film that scene where they're right behind the helicopter when it does that, so James Cameron had to film it himself? Oh, that's badass. <laughs> that's so cool.
Oh, the Twilight Zone movie. Okay. I was like, there's no fucking way, because I watched T2 as a kid, and Twilight came out when I was in high school. <laughs> okay. I've never seen Twilight, but I didn't think there were any helicopter, like, action scenes, but, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they need something to make it a okay movie. <laughs> yeah, very different movies. <laughs> Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow. That's the one with Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt, I think. That one was good. We've only seen it once, but I want to see it again. Mad Max. All of them. I've only seen them all with Tom Hardy. Which was really cool. The... The, uh... The flamethrowing guitar player <laughs> made it. <laughs> Super 8. Really good production value. That was actually pretty good. I don't usually like movies that... star kids. But that one was good. Have you seen, uh... Oh, I think it's like the camp at the edge of the world or something like that. Signs, freaky as fuck. Oh my gosh. That, birth that birthday scene part scene. Birthday party scene, I can speak, really gets me. Escape from New York, LA. I don't know either of those. Pacific Room is great. Fantastic monsters. Lo I love it. Dread. Judge Dread. I've seen one of them. <laughs> the one with Carl Urban. Oblivion is good. Uh, Pitch Black. Doesn't sound familiar. Oh, now it's scrolled up. Dang it, I gotta... Okay. Here we go. Riddick. I have... I've seen... One of the Riddick movies, but I was on a double date with my junior high boyfriend, and he was shorter than me, and he had his arm around me on the couch, so I spent the whole time like this. It was really uncomfortable, so I don't remember anything about the movie. <laughs> Limitless. You thought Limitless was really good. Okay. My kids were wanting to see that, too. We watched some of the show. Enemy Mine. Good movie. Not a lot of rewatch value, but really good for a one-timer. Oh. John Carter is great. Diltar Soldat, all that. I love that. Virginia. Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenon. I can see the cover to it, but I don't think I remember it. Michael, that one was good. Armageddon, I remember that one. The Running Man, Waterworld, I haven't seen either of those. The Day After Tomorrow, really high on my disaster movie list. Mimic. Mimic. If it's what I think it's about, I think it'll be good. Edge of Tomorrow is really good. Dread is amazing, the 2012 one. Okay, that's the one that I saw. <laughs> Species. I've seen Species. I saw that. Last Starfighter. Robocop. It's not right. I didn't like... Well, okay. I'm not super fond of the, like, crazy violent and, and rude 80s movies like Robocop was. But it's a cool little idea. Bill and Ted, um, I've seen the first one once, but I don't remember it. <laughs> oh, Paul, you're, you're, you gotta read, man. <laughs> Children of Men. Is that the one where we, we can't have kids anymore? There's like one baby or something, or one pregnant woman. Tom Cruise, War of the Worlds. That one was okay. Honestly, the only part of that that doesn't hold up is the fact that the sun fucking survives. Just totally un... like, whatever. He just runs up at the end and he's like, hey, I'm alive! <laughs> I remember that really took me out of it when I saw that movie. <laughs> Robocop has a lot of satirical elements, like Starship Troopers. I haven't seen Starship Troopers. Um... All right, I could I could give Robocop another watch because I don't remember it having a sense of humor. Yes, that should have been. Okay, I remember the very end of it. <laughs> That's all I remember, which kind of defeats the purpose of watching it. Kind of like uh, like Sixth Sense. No, Six Six Six. The one with the kids that see kid that sees dead people. I know how it ends. 
so I can't watch it because I know how it ends. <laughs> I have to like wait to forget it or something. It's supposed to be one of those huge reveals that you're supposed to live through, and I don't think I ever lived through it. I think I was just learned it from pop culture. I'm very upset by it. <laughs> he should have died. Yes, exactly. Cocoon. I haven't seen that or heard of it. Men in Black is great. Tron. I didn't see any of the old Trons. Um, the new one was very... I mean, if nothing else, it was very visually interesting. E.T. I didn't really like E.T. I don't... I don't really know why. Maybe because it was kids again. Like, I just don't like... Like... Movies about kids, I guess. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I haven't seen that one yet, but I was just telling my folks I needed to watch it. Have you seen the fourth kind? I have seen that, and that one's creepy. Still a good movie worth watching. Insanely creative cinematography with its long takes. Alright. Michael Caine's on that? I did not remember that. Michael Caine. He's always a good watch. Like Morgan Freeman. And Julianne Moore. Oh. <laughs> you want to see Julianne Moore, you watch Jurassic Park 2. <laughs> um... Or... God, what was the name of that chick flick she was in? It's a, it's such a good one. Um, it's divorced lawyers who end up getting married one drunk night. Uh, Laws of Attraction. It's one of my favorite chick flicks. Kingsman! Those are fantastic! I love Kingsman. The filming style of those is really cool. Like, especially the, the church scene in the first one. That was just amazing. The second one was kind of weird. Kingsman wasn't bad. I wish they had brought back the filming style from the first one. I think, uh, I think Mikhail just rewatched Jupiter Ascending. That was Cohen Brothers, right? I wasn't home, so he got to watch that one alone. Wachowskis. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Got it mixed up. Maybe I don't know who the Coen brothers are. For some reason, I thought there was only one set of movie-making siblings in Hollywood. Obviously, I'd just be an idiot. Yes. That was kind of the discussion we had just the other day, actually, about it. It's, like, visually really cool. But... The writing is like, eh. But McKeel said that they actually had like a ton of budget cut issues in that movie 
and so it all went to like the visual effects and not like the story and stuff like that. Valerian and a Thousand Planets, I, that drove me nuts. <laughs> I don't think I could ever rewatch that movie. <laughs> I actually liked him. I just... The love story was so... awful. Like, the love story was so awful. The two main actors were just like... They were like, marching a brick at. Yeah. Yeah, it was like if you put- if you put Kristen Stewart and Orlando Bloom in a movie together. Which I think they're in a movie together, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> It just don't uh, no facial expressions. Oh, I have seen No Brother Where Out Thou. Yes, definitely. Ballad of Buster Shrugs. We started to watch that and could not make it through it. <laughs> Fargo. I want to see Fargo. I haven't watched it though. Uh, I also have not seen The Big Lebowski. Julianne Moore's in that, too. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, it's some, like, futuristic thing. It's like, let's put the two people with no facial expressions together, but I think they were in a movie about emotions, not, I think. I think it actually worked for him in that. If I remember correctly. actually totally see her delivering that that series of lines clean. Nice. Killing it. Just killing it. Unfortunately, my eyes are just burning with all the killing that I'm doing. Alright, we'll watch this. We'll watch this clip and then uh, probably adjourn for the evening. Oh. Sorry. Got an ad. I don't pay for stuff. Okay. Here we go. Does the female form make you uncomfortable, Mr. Lebowski? Uh, is that what this is a picture of? In a sense, yes. My art has been commended as being strongly vaginal, which bothers some men. The word itself makes some men uncomfortable. Vagina. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yes, they don't like hearing it and find it difficult to say, whereas without batting an eye, a man will refer to his dick, or his rod, or his... Johnson. Johnson? What All the right, fuck Mr. is with this video? Let's get down to cases. My Well, I can't watch a movie tonight, but... <laughs> I can't think of... well... The only other person I could think of who might be able to deliver that line that well would be, like, Meryl Streep. Give me a spoon. 
But now I have a list of movies. My chicken scratch list. Defeatist. <laughs> I have not been feeling well this week. I know. Sorry. And I've been given a new... I've been given a new project at work that's my baby, and if I if I do it well and prove that it works by the beginning of May, I get a dollar raise. So I need to be sharp at work. Meryl Streep could deliver any line, you're right. Oh, now I want to watch Into the Woods. We were talking about that last week. <laughs> Defeatism. The word itself makes some men uncomfortable. What am I looking for? Thank you. Thank you for permission to take care of myself. Should we uh, continue the power washing train and find somebody else playing power wash simulator? Not that I've been playing a lot of it, mind you, because I've just been distracted by uh, movie talk, which I am always happy to be distracted by. I love movie talk. Let's do this again. Next time, everybody bring your favorite comedies. Not right now. We don't have time right now. <laughs> Next time. Alright, make sure this is gonna work here. Okay, good. <laughs> it would be a good sound alert. <laughs> make it so. Oh, that would be another good sound alert. Alright, let's find somebody to. Don't die, be well. <laughs> Um, let's see. There's someone named Octopimp. <laughs> <sighs> yes. Soap passion. Well, that sounds like a like a power washer to me. Let's head over there. All right. We're in search of power washing passion. This person's got soap in their name. Match made in heaven. Ah. <sighs> All right. Damn. This turned into a really good night. I wasn't really expecting that with how bleh, I felt at the beginning. Thank you all for showing up, for talking, the gifted subs. Just, just thank you all. This is amazing. I really enjoyed tonight. I needed this. And we did, we got like half of a park washed so the kids can play on half of it without getting dermatitis. So, yay! Good job. Go team. <laughs> Alright, uh, back on Friday, doing something. I don't know if we're going to do party games or not. We didn't even talk about it last week, so, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I also have a new game. I thought about trying it tonight, but I wanted to be on top of it uh, when I played it. It's called Dredge, and it looks wonderful and slightly creepy, which is right up my alley, so maybe we'll play that on Friday if we're not doing party games. Anyway, um, here we go. I will talk to all of you on Friday. Have a good rest of the week, and uh, let's go go share our power washing passion with soap passion. Um, have a good night, and bye!